In this video, we're going to be looking at how to multiply numbers using the lattice method. I'm going to work through four different examples. Feel free to pause the video at any time if you'd like to try these yourself before we go over the answers. Here is the first example. 23 multiplied by 456. First, we draw a box, similar to the grid method. As we're multiplying a two-digit number by a three-digit number, the box needs to be two by three. We put 456 along the top and 23 along the side. Next, draw diagonal lines through the grid, connecting the top corners with the opposite bottom corners across the boxes. Now we're ready to multiply. 4 times 2 is 8. Notice how each box is split into 10s and 1s, so each triangle has one digit. 5 times 2 is 10. 6 times 2 is 12. Next we do 4 times 3, which is 12. 5 times 3 is 15 and 6 times 3 is 18. The next step is to add along the diagonal strips, starting in the ones place, going from right to left. In the ones place, we have 8. In the tens place, we have 5, add 1, add 2, which is 8. In the hundreds place, we have 2, add 1, add 1, which is 4. In the thousands place, we have 1, add 8, add 1, which is 10. We'll carry the extra 10 over to the next column. And then we have 1, add 0. So in the ten thousands place, we have 1. So the answer is 10,488. Here is the next example. 34 multiplied by 527. First, we draw the grid. We put 527 along the top and 34 along the side. Next, draw your diagonal lines going through the boxes. Now we're ready to multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. 2 times 3 is 6. 7 times 3 is 21. Then we do 5 times 4, which is 20. 2 times 4 is 8 and 7 times 4 is 28. The next step is to add along the diagonal strips, starting in the ones place, going from right to left. In the ones place, we have 8. In the tens place, we have 8, add 2, add 1, which is 11. We'll carry the extra 10 over to the next column. Then we have 6, add 2, add 1, which is 9. In the thousands column, we have 2, add 5, which is 7. And then we have 1 in the ten thousands column. So the answer is 17,918. Here is the next example. 62 multiplied by 348. First, we draw the grid. We put 348 along the top and 62 down the side. Next, draw your diagonal lines going through the boxes. Now we're ready to multiply. 3 times 6 
is 18. 4 times 6 is 24. 8 times 6 is 48. Then we do 3 times 2, which is 6. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 times 2 is 16. The next step is to add along the diagonal strips, starting in the ones place, going from right to left. In the ones place, we have 6. In the tens place, we have 8 add 1 add 8, which is 17. We'll carry the extra 10 over to the next column. In the hundreds place, we have 6 add 4 add 4 add 1, which is 15. We'll carry the extra 10 over to the next column. Next, in the thousands column, we have 8 add 2 add 1, which is 11. We'll carry the extra 10 over to the next column. Then we have 1 add 1 which is 2, so the answer is 21,576. Here is the last example. 45 multiplied by 789. First, we draw the grid. We put 789 along the top and 45 down the side. Next, draw your diagonal lines going through the boxes. Now we're ready to multiply. 7 times 4 is 28. 8 times 4 is 32. 9 times 4 is 36. Then we do 7 times 5, which is 35. 8 times 5 is 40 and then 9 times 5 is 45. The next step is to add along the diagonal strips, starting in the ones place, going from right to left. In the ones place, we have 5. In the tens place, we have 4 add 6, which is 10. We'll carry the extra 10 over to the next column. In the hundreds place, we have 5, add 4, add 2, add 3, add 1, which is 15. We'll carry the extra 10 over to the next column. Next, we have 3, add 8, add 3, add 1, which is 15. We'll carry the extra 10 over to the next column. And then in the 10 thousands place we have 2 add 1, which is 3. So the answer is 35,505.